this week's mission is to ski 120 kilometers ish from Eco to Beginner Hole. Pick up the canoes and pack rafts. Paddle 40 kilometers. Back to the Oh, it is windy across the river. And uh, it's supposed to rain today. That's great. Right. Well, we'll see you in the next one. So we just got the meat cove and boys are gearing up the sleds over there. The mission today is to spend six days skiing from meat cove to the headwaters of the Marguerite and then we're going to canoe all the way back to my house in Marguerite Forks. Last night we ran up to Big Interval and dropped off a canoe, pack rafts and all the gear up in Big Interval at the Salmon Camp and uh, we're going to spend uh, hopefully four or five days skiing from meat cove up over the plateaus, crossing over the park, and back down to the headwaters of the Marguerite. This is going to be an awesome adventure. I'm here with Wes Booth, Dave Green, young Chris, Jeremy drove us up, and uh, yeah, let's get rock and rolling. How you guys feeling? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> we're naive. We have no idea what we're about to walk into. How you feel, Chris? Power to this wind. <laughs> yeah, baby. It's cool. We're starting to get a little bit of wind now. We're forecasted to have, what, 140? Yeah. 140 kilometer hour winds when we get up top. So uh, it's gonna be an interesting first day. So this is gonna be the first multi-day trip on these skis that uh, I bought last year. So it's gonna be interesting. We're on top of the plateau behind Lowland Cove, and uh, yeah, now we turn south and head down towards Paul's Cove. It is getting windy. Picking up, it's supposed to snow quite a bit tonight. 140 km hour winds and some crap like that. I don't know. Anyways. Oh, so it is 8 a.m. Just woke up in the middle of a storm. Wind's still ripping. But I'm gonna try to get the canopy up and get some food cooking. So here's to wishful thinking. Head it up. this shelter as you're seeing a lot of the videos and photos uh, online this is the obviously MSR front range it's technically a four person kind of lightweight tarp tent it uses ski poles comes with these two straps it uses ski poles to to be your center pole weighs I think just around a pound uh, but it's been super useful for a, a camp kitchen and shelter just to get a little bit out of the wind um, so we had to drop it down last night bury it uh, just so that the high winds were supposed to get like 140 ish but I think that was more towards Shetty Camp and Marguerite which is probably still getting 100 kilometer roughly hour winds still windy out still snowing out we slept in a bit we're gonna get some water boiled eat some breakfast uh, get gassed up tear everything down and get on the move we're heading to 
trying to get into Gray's Hollow today. It's gonna be a push. Okay, so last night, oh, last night we got a lot of snow. As you can see from us digging the uh, camp shelter out. But we got a little bit of powder, so we're getting ready to leave camp and I figured I'd rip up and down these hills, get warmed up. It's pretty fun. Real fun. Now we're heading up to the Barrens. Uh, gonna try to ride Barrens all the way towards North Mountain. And I uh, think it's gonna be 20 some kilometers. It's now 11 o'clock. We're super late, leaving camp, slept in a bit. But uh, yeah, it's uh, given plus, it's given plus uh, four or five today. Uh, hopefully it stays clear and we don't get any precipitation, any rain or anything, but uh, anyways, we'll find out. We're off. crossing the spines just above Gray's Hollow right now and uh, it's about I think 3.30 or 3.45 and uh, we got caught out in a bunch of freezing rain crossing the Barrens uh, so we're a bit wet well our feet are a bit wet we dried out uh, everything else pretty much but the plan is <coughs> plans change a bit and we know the location of some uh, some cabins in the back country here. So we're pushing as hard as we can for the next few hours to see what our options are. Well, I pitch everybody to ski down Gray's Hollow and crash at the hostel tonight, but uh, I don't think that was that was one of the options. But anyways, all in today is fun, right? But luckily we got a lot of open trees and stands here so we can cruise relatively quickly that just but the snow is a little tacky so not gliding as well but we'll see a couple hours to go so <clears throat> rock and roll Wow, we made the uh, cabin. Boys are happy. Yeah! I love whiskey. Full battery, baby. Yeah. I'm gonna put my coffee. It's looking like a better day today. Okay, so it is the morning of day three. We are getting breakfast going. Packing gear up to dry it a little bit over uh, overnight. Let's fucking go! <laughs> <laughs> it feels like I've been looking for all my shit all morning. Um, anyways, we're heading from North Mountain, which we're at the uh, emergency cell. Blah, 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 blah. We're at the emergency shelter in North Mountain, heading out back, south. Now it looks clear out. Hopefully no more rain. But uh, we're heading to Shady Camp Lake today, or 
thereabouts. But uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> We are at the headwaters of the Aspie. Boys are over there. Boys are over there. And this is the skiing over the headwaters of the Aspie River. Mackenzie River is just over the ridge, and we're crossing over uh, towards Caribou Barren. We are here, made it. Caribou Barren. Just a huge wide white landscape that runs pretty much all the way to White Hill and uh, we are heading through some of it and then going south towards Shady Camp Lake. Everybody else, the rest of me is pretty good. Here we go. Day four. I'm a bit tired today. It was really nice out. Got a little overcast. Just getting ready. Heading towards Park Spur today. So we made it to Park Spur Road and we are going down this big downhill, down that way. The boys are already gone. They're like specks in the horizon. Anyways, gonna get down there, get the camp, get some food going. Rock and roll, another uh, 25, 30 kilometers to a big interval. Then we picked up the canoes. Oh, look at this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Yeah. What do you got here, bud? Fucking warm in here. What are you doing? You're fine. You're right. Bueno? Doing bueno. So we're here in the morning, day five. Camping just off Park Spur Road. Heading down to Big Animal today. Uh, by way of some snowmobile trails. So I've been skiing on groomed snowmobile trails and 
and the rest are gonna be walking on the road, but that's where we're heading down to pick up the boat and maybe get a meal at the salmon camp. I don't know, we'll see what time we get there. But we got 35-ish kilometers to carry everything to the camp today. So, we'll see. It's open by eight, so we got a big day. Eight to eight, 12 hours. See ya. It's a video, by the way. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Dave here, day five. Headwaters tour, north to south. Gonna finish our skiing today. Big push, 30K. Down a big interval, salmon lodge. Uh, lots of ups and downs, should be fun, should be fast, should be boring. Wes has got some jet fuel for us, we'll make it through, it's gonna be a good time, we're gonna have fun, have some laughs. That's what we came here to do, be uncomfortable and have a good time. How you feeling? Pretty good. Feet are a little sore, but it's to be expected after 80 kilometers or so in four days. What's the plan today? Gonna uh, go down a road for about 30k, which is our longest day yet. But no more bashing through trees, which is a big help, especially for me and my squirrely sled. <laughs> that thing does not travel in any straight line or where you would think it would go. So I'm looking forward to not having to deal with that. Okay. Okay, so we're here now at Rocky Brook. And, yo. Oh. Fuck. No way. Men are they menthol? No. I, oh. Found on the side of the road. So we are now descending into Forest Glen and the forest is changing. Uh, we're in a big, thick hardwood stand, lots of maples and birches, perfect for some alpine skiing, as Dave pointed out, coming down the hill. But we're getting to the steep section, uh, which descends off the mountain, really descends off the mountain down into Forest Glen and then we're on the road. And we walk 4K and we're at the salmon camp. I think I'm gonna get steak, poutine, soup, pop. I think I'm gonna consume like 4,000 calories there when we get there, but. I uh, hope I don't fall going down this hill. We'll see you at the bottom. Oh. Oh, yeah. the mountain heading to big interval so like how's everybody doing and stuff why no why no well that's the end of the road or the start of the road the end of the skiing and uh we got 4k to walk to big interval get some dinner pick up some boats and paddle home tomorrow i look pretty bad <laughs> Made her. Made her. Long walk. Hey Lee, check out the weather forecast for today. Good thing we're not skiing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Good day to go paddling, boys. Yeah. Seven degrees and sunny. Boys. It's uh, Thursday. It's not Thursday. It's Friday. And we're here at the Salmon Camp, the Big Interval Fishing Lodge, where uh, they were gracious enough to let us use one of their cabins for the night. We ate dinner last night, the power got out as soon as we got here, <laughs> basically. We got off the mountain, ready to eat some food, and we got here and the power was out. So they had a power outage for it. Luckily, we're able to still cook food, and we ate a lot of food. But today's mission, what's today's mission, Dave? 
We're gonna paddle down the Marguerite River, all the way down to the Forks. Yep. Yep. It'll be a good time. Yep. So uh, drink this coffee and get outside. Oi. Yeah. Time to get after it. That's what we've been working so hard for. Oh, yeah. Float down that river. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. what it's all about. Nope, nope. Oh yeah. Go, go. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Buddy. Um, yeah. This is a good one. Nice one. That's how you do a first camping trip together. Hey. Hi, Metro. Hi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.